The Blue Angels is an IMAX documentary directed by Paul Crowder and produced by him as well as Glenn Powell. That makes perfect sense since Glenn Powell was recently in Top Gun Maverick where he played a fighter pilot. And of course, Glenn Powell's career has really skyrocketed. I remember first seeing him as that hapless little stock exchange broker in The Dark Knight Rises who gets his face slammed into a desk by Bane. And he's been in other films since then, chief among them this new comedy that raunchy one called Anyone But You with Sidney Sweeney. And of course, he's also in that new Hitman thing that's on Netflix directed by Richard Linklater. Now this film, this IMAX documentary called The Blue Angels, it tells the story of the Blue Angels. The extension of the Navy with their beautiful blue and yellow, or blue and gold, forgive me, jets that fly in formation and are all about teamwork. Now, I remember seeing a music video when I was a little kid called Dreams by Van Halen, and it featured the Blue Angels in it. And this documentary, it is G-rated, it is 93 minutes long, produced not necessarily in IMAX, but more like enhanced to be shown that way. It uses what's called IMAX DMR technology. I will say, I was thrilled by a lot of the shots that they used. Some angles were a bit dizzying, I might add, and this was pretty well packed, and the audience was pretty well behaved. I saw this on May 20th, 2024, in IMAX with 12-track audio over at the AMC Del Amo 18 in Torrance, California. I learned a few things, that's for sure. It was a lot more than what I thought it was going to be about, and it pretty much gives you what you would expect. You know, you learn some things about the team, you learn how dangerous it is to fly the way that they do, the benefits, and things like that. It's pretty standard stuff, I won't lie. The real big selling point, of course, was the fact that it was shown in IMAX, and it does take pretty good advantage of those technologies. I know that it was a limited release and it's mostly being shown on Amazon Prime as of this recording. I do think there are some places that are still showing this in IMAX. Uh, I will be completely honest, while I was learning quite a bit, there were some moments where it did kind of drag its feet a little bit and I felt like, okay, this is probably the end. And it wasn't. I looked at my phone and it had only been on for about 45 minutes. I will confess, I kind of feel like they might have been able to have condensed this into a 45 to a 50 minute long documentary, much like they did with that Deep Space one or Deep Sky one that I saw even further back a few months ago. But what really helps sell the core of this documentary is the sense of family. I really liked that a lot. You could tell that everybody who was on this team, they're in it for life. And that was a really big selling point for me, you know, as well as emotionally. I really liked this. I thought this was a good documentary. There's really no big surprises to be had. It's just a good time. It makes you feel patriotic. I will say I was a little depressed that they didn't use the song Dreams by Van Halen in the film. I don't know if it's because they couldn't get the rights or they just forgot to. I don't know. But it's nice to know that this is still something that's still going strong. It's definitely made me want to try to go out and see one of these shows one of these days. I heard it is quite breathtaking. And judging from what I've seen, it looks very much like that. I think that this is a very solid documentary. I do like the fact that it's G-rated. There was really nothing in it to make it anything higher than that. There's no foul language or violence at all. It's perfectly fine perfectly fits the mold, and it was admittedly well-suited for the format. And with that being said, I will now assign my grade. I'm going to go ahead and be fair and honest. I'm going to go ahead and give the Blue Angels a very well-deserved A. It deserves that grade because it was a grade A documentary. You could easily see all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into making it. It was made in 2022. And it definitely, like I said, makes me want to go check out one of these shows. It was just what I needed. Even though, like I said, it kind of did drag its feet just a touch, it still wasn't enough to decrease its rating because of its importance. And I definitely recommend checking it out if it ever comes back to theaters in IMAX. 
Be warned, by the way, the jet noise can be a bit jarring at times for some because of the extreme format, if you will. But anyway, thank you guys for listening. And do not forget, the cinema is the perfect arena for conflict. And on the subject of that, the audience was absolutely mature and perfect. As always, don't forget to check out my other podcast movie reviews on my channel. And as always, I'll see you at the movies. Take care, everyone.